Hello, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Good morning, and welcome to my base. So I chose the the next best peak in town after this gun siege snaked the uh, the mountain I was going to build on. Uh, so I built on this mountain and I flattened the top. And this is my electro landing pad, which I I'm I'm super thrilled. I'm super proud of thinking of this and building it out it makes a really nice electro landing pad. Uh, so my base is all built around this. Uh, built a few things. I've got some end stone back here so I could grow the purple. And I've got a giant spruce tree growing spot there and a composter so I can get rid of some of the excess stuff to get additional bone meal. Um, but let's go down into my base. You know what? Let's do this first. Let's do a little aerial tour. Um... Because my plan was to build a circular, uh, a circular sort of UFO disc shape building, uh, sticking out of the the mountain, and there isn't quite enough room uh, for for the whole circle, but that's okay. So I built this area here, and. He was playing around with bone blocks and the, the end rods and whatnot. And I've got a couple bees that kind of escape from my bee growing area. But this was initial, you know, this was my initial... Oh, I've got record. Um, enchanting setup, bed, and, uh, you know, <clears throat> enchanting or brewing, brewing setup. Um, and, and then I eventually dug down this way and built this little corridor with all the glass so you could see it but then initially what i've got it i've got another bee i've got a bee breakout uh so then i built some additional areas down here storage and i just kept expanding out until i ran into the end the inside of the mountain so this is my storage area and i've got a lot of stuff here but and this is where my initial and uh nether portal was and then here this area is a little smaller but i have my little mushroom growing area and cocoa bean um and i just kept building floor after floor and then nether wart um and then this was my deep storage area because i'm getting down here farther into the mountain and I had more and more space, and so I was just, you know, bulk storage of stuff. And I never filled out a ton of it. I mean, it's like, and I started putting stuff into uh, into shulker boxes to maximize the storage. So I've got lots of stone, but you saw in that one there, I shulker boxes filled with cactus. Uh, so that's so that's cool. And then. Here's my menagerie. Oh, here's why the bees keep escaping. Because that trap door is open. Uh, so this was where I put... I was going to decorate this a little more, and I didn't. But this is where all my dogs are, and where the cats are, and the birds. Um, <clears throat> and then I started... This was just a place where I could put some bees. Um, so I started doing experimenting with the bees here. Um, so that is that, and then, so the bees would come over here and fly up, so that's, that's why I had bees. Um, this floor I dug out, never, never built anything. Actually, I would use that to break, like I silk touch ores and stuff, I would lay them out here in the air and go through and fortune them. Um, <clears throat> so that was just kind of a miscellaneous area. And then get farther down, 
and we come into this was my whoops uh, this was my original front door behind a waterfall which is a pain in the butt to actually figure out this goes down to a dock where I have my boat and you can see there's my turtle island over there but the community area so this was my initial front door uh, until we got the elytra and then I just started flying and then I don't know why that trap door I don't know why I have a trap door there and then this goes down to the mining area and I built a few things down here and when we get down there you'll see there's quite a lot of stuff here so this is my mine uh, I built a giant slime farm over here let's go take a look at the mine the slime farm oh you can hear the slimes getting into the slime farm is uh, an interesting it's a little out of the way but for the most part you never need to come in here hello slime let's see, let's see we got slimes here and it's a passive slime farm I'm not using uh, iron golems to to beat them up I'm just using that and then I've got a cactus down there um, and the, the slime are just being pushed by water streams into the cactus and then their drops are being picked up there oh ah, attacked by a slime that's right because I'm here they get aggro but then they can they can oops uh, they can fight against the water current when they're aggro on a player. So that's that. This is perfect location. It's two trunks. And when I'm in my base, it's active. Uh, so there's always, always plenty of slime here. Um, and in fact, I cleared this out not that long ago and it's full again. You see, I've got, I've got all kinds of stuff. It's perfectly fine. That's just entrance to cave. Um, so we have, we're in, in the middle of a ravine here. And um, Riskan C has like an entrance area to his little place underneath. Um, but I came across a zombie spawner. Oh, and with the, uh, with the aquatic update stuff, I put in some bubble elevators to get up and down to my base and that's the primary way I get around. So in coming over here, there was going through and caving and I found a zombie spawner. And this was back at the time where zombie spawners would occasionally spawn zombie villagers. So I built a little setup where I could turn on and off the lights. Oh wow, hello. Um, they have since gotten rid of the zombie spawner, the zombie villagers spawning. Um, ooh, what did I get? Enchanted chainmail leggings, blast protection. That's pretty cool. Um, but I snagged enough villagers, enough villagers being two, uh, to build a little villager breeder area here, which also doesn't entirely work at the moment. I've got a bunch of undifferentiated villagers, and I've got this guy up here is a smith of some sort, and I've, I've had two, and I had it set up with enough doors. This is back when size of a village was determined by the number of doors and this is exactly a chunk in size and um so early single chunk farm and it goes up to the ocean there mostly just because i could um and i think you needed sky access for these to count as as village doors so I just started expanding the area down here and making it more sort of livable. I built cactus farm, automated cactus farm, um, a giant automated melon farm. Still works. Uh, I think I, yeah, it's, it's, this is pretty, this is pretty not so. In fact, it's probably bigger than it really has any 
you speed. But it works. Um, and then I built villager storage. Oh, no, we'll, we'll do this for a second. I built out, initially I built out just manual farms, right? Sugarcane, melons, wheat, potatoes, and carrots. And then I captured a couple guys. This is David S. Pumpkins. Um, he is a Halloween zombie spawn from years ago. Trapped him here. And then this little guy, Baby Huey, spawned in full chain mail, so I trapped him there. I built his, a mob farm, an automated mob farm that sorts all the drops back here. Um, so, you know, zombie flesh and and a couple of drops for each of those. So I've got plenty of bones and stuff. Um, and this is a good starter mob farm. And, and then chickens. Got chickens here. And uh, oh, that's that's right. It collects the, the chicken eggs in a dispenser here which is all filled up. I put a little redstone clock on it so I could turn it on and it could spawn chickens um, by shooting the eggs against the wall here and I could get more chickens. Haven't really used that in a while, but villager trading. Um, this is, this was a ton of work and it was a ton of work upgrading it to this version of the game. We're in 1.15.2 right now. Um, but I've got a villager trading area that totally works. And I've got, at the point we were in the game, librarian of with each book. Um, and I would just keep breeding them and until I saw somebody with a cheaper book. So like this Infinity 5, it doesn't get any cheaper than that. This Menu 10 is a good trade. Um, I'm breaking 3 for 27. So if I had come across a guy with I'm breaking 3 for cheaper, I would keep him and get rid of this one. And I had a whole, have a whole villager disposal set up over here. Um, where I put them in rail carts and run them over here and dump them out in the lava, the lava pit there. Um, so I just, it was a whole thing. And I would spend time down here breeding up the villagers um, and checking their trades. Of course, none of these guys have trades because the way villagers worked changed. Um, so this of course doesn't work anymore. And I did some some uh, turtles. That's a turtle turtle farm. Super simple. So that's all fine and dandy. Do I still have a bed down here? No, because why would I? Everything's lit up. I don't get spawns down here, so I don't really need any bed. Um, so let's go sleep. Get rid of the phantoms. So here's my bubble vader. Um, this is much faster getting up and down than than the uh, the ladders for sure. And if you get if you're good enough, you can hop in and hop out at different floors. So, okay, I'm gonna sleep. And when we wake up, come up here. Look, all right. Um, I mentioned Turtle Island. That's over here. So when we got the turtles with the aquatic update, um, I built this little, took this little island here, flattened it out, trapped in some turtles, got some turtles over here, and um, got all the requisite stuff to breed them, seagrass, and so I could get turtle eggs and 
Uh, we decorated the area around here with all the aquatic stuff. Um, some of it. I have a little conduit. So I can breathe underwater here. We could hunt drown to try and get pitchforks. But that's uh that wasn't super. I don't even have a pitchfork on me. Interesting. So anyway, that's this is my turtle breeding area. Um that's nice and all. Oh, and um Uh, over here, oh, this is the top of my village. It's down there. Um, over here, the last thing I should have brought this up. That's right, this underwater viewing area. I think Risk and Sea may have built that. And I have an underwater viewing area here, but it's connected to this. So I built this another water bottle shaped building um, and using the, the little mechanics. And I built a trident shop. And we are inside. There's a conduit nearby enough that you could breathe underwater here. Uh, so, so I have tridents with different combinations of powers and set up a little shop and then a little window here so you can look out into the bay, which I think is kind of cool. But there we go. Okay, anything else around here that we need to see? Oh, here's my original fishing shack. Um, <clears throat> mostly built as a way of just getting out of out of uh, the danger when it was dark. Um, but it's also here on the water so you can fish. So I did a lot of fishing here. Oh, mission and efficiency four. That's interesting. Uh, so anyway, that was that. I put a little bed here so you can sleep. And there's here's one of Vex's. Uh, Vex FX has got into uh, I don't know, not exactly a prank, but he would leave flowers all over the place. So I think that's. I think that's all the stuff right around here. Um, there was some interesting building going on in the jungle. There's some treetop structures. Um, we have there's one. So we all kind of teased Risk and see a little bit for building so close to Vex FX and Vex's gargantuan build and not Risk Density didn't really have a good sense of scale. Uh, because there's so the the world is so big. So all this space over here that never got developed. There is um Outlaw Poet built a base here. Underground. <sighs> so, I think this was his. And then just, you know, stairways down to mining area. And there's, there's other farm stuff down here. And just keep bonking your head all the way down. It's obviously mobs. Um, let's 
Could be a little dangerous down here. Lava. Just bare lava. It's been a while since I've looked in here. Lava Lake. <sighs> More lava. Okay. Oh. And all the way down to bedrock. Very good. So we get out of here and we will continue. So as I said, I'm pretty sure this is Outlaw Poets base. I did like this big old um, stairway down in the thing and that it extends all the way down to, uh, to bedrock. There's a little Totally forgot about that. It's a little bittersweet because Alma Poet was uh, my friend Justin, who passed away last year, had appendicitis, and by the time he went into the hospital, it was too late, and uh, he did not make it. Uh, so anyway, we... Um, you can see none of this is interesting underwater stuff because this was all generated before the aquatic update. Um, so as I said, we, we sort of teased risk and see about building, not having a sense of scale, building too close to Vex FX the big castle, but not really building big enough. So came out here and took that as a challenge and built a big area here. Um, and out far enough away from everybody else that he wasn't going to get in anyone's way. And so this, this whole area. Um, there. You off the map. And of course, didn't, didn't really finish up a ton of stuff. I mean, there's like brewing here. And it's big, big buildings. Um, and, uh, ow. Uh, has just like a big mob, not mob farm, but like cows and stuff, right? Over here. starting to get dark. I may have to be a little bit concerned about that. Huh. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Lots of chickens and cows and stuff. Okay, I'm sure he's got a bed over here. Let's uh, let's go find it and use it. Um, sure, he's got a bed. Maybe a uh, maybe a strong assumption. Here we go. So this is Riskensi's place and he's building this big bridge. And it would be nice to see this finished because it's a pretty, that's a scale. I mean, that's, that's building to scale. But it's kind of a bridge to nowhere. the big wall another big jungle over here and uh, that's uh, that's all so anyway that's all the areas around the bay my bridge the community my base the community area barb net slayer metal 
of Eric Hulk, um, Marax, VexFX. Um, the next area that we'll sort of get into is the nether. And we can sort of pop over here. This portal is over here, I think. And we could talk a little bit about the, the nether infrastructure. Just a moment. So welcome to the nether. I built all these tunnels and everything was built to be at the same level so that all the traveling around the nether could be quick and easy. And, uh, you know, I've got everything lit up, everything, the floors are all slabbed. Um, this is too short for, uh, for Endermen to spawn inside. And this was a mistake, this tunnel. I thought this tunnel needed to be positioned over here. It was not. Um, uh, so, and I just started labeling everything so, so people could find their way around. So my base is over this way. The gold farm is over this way. And everything's at this consistent level. And I think it all works pretty well. So this is my base. Bang, splat. Uh, the community portal to the community area is right here. And I chose this spot. I mean, obviously this, this was where everything started and we came in and we spawned and we were right next to a, uh, a nether fortress, which was nice. Uh, super convenient. And so I built the things to come out to the nether fortress and oh there's some there's some guys there. Um and I I enclosed the nether fortress just trying to maximize spawning, particularly of uh, uh wither skeleton skeletons, so we could get wither skulls. Um and then this out here, then I basically everyone who wanted a, the thing, so this is this goes to Barb's place. And then this goes out to Eric Hulk's place. Um, and, and then this goes out to the Pirate Cove and this goes to Vex FX's place. And um, go query on. So there's a few things out here that I'm not, I don't entirely remember, uh, but some of these go out quite a ways. This is Metal's place and Larax Tower. And and so on. And this goes down quite a ways. There's a lot of stuff down here. Um, and we'll, we'll come out and do some of this in a future episode. This is where that iron farm is, the record farm, flower farm. Uh, this is where the stronghold is out, where the, the end is. And Smash and Pete are out this way. Um, Barb makes things, build a big roller coaster. And there's more stuff down there. But one thing I want to show you in in the nether here. Uh, this is all, as I said, this is all built to be super safe. When you, when we're inside nether rack, it's just enclosed like this. When we've got out over things, I've got glass so you can sort of see what's going on. Um, and then down this way gets to pyramid and there's a taiga island um so lots of good stuff over here i built a gold farm and this is part of the community infrastructure that is kind of important to the server um, and it produces quite a bit of gold which is why i can line the the walls of the the tunnel line leading up to it in gold gold blocks um, it's a bit of a flex. And just before we get up to the bedrock 
thing here. Started digging out a big area. Um, started mostly just to have a little space so that I could figure out how to, a good spot to get up above the, uh, the bedrock, break the bedrock. Uh, but then I built this here. I was also looking for a spot that was like this that would trap the wither so that we could have a safe place to spawn the wither and easily kill him. Because we were doing out in the, in the jungle area and it was kind of a pain. Um, and once you killed the wither legitimately, it, I don't mind cheesing it a little bit with that. But then this comes up here to the gold farm. Uh, that beacon is in the, the nether fortress to give you some resistance and strength to fight the stuff in the wither fortress and the nether fortress. And this is item sorter for the gold farm. Um, yeah. So, climb all the way up and you get to see the gold farm in action. So it's a gold farm, but it also is, I think, the best XP farm on the server. Uh, so it's it's useful for repairing stuff. If you got mending on your stuff and leveling up. Um, so that's that's why I built it. It's the it's one of the donut farm designs. It still works. Um, might not be the most. Uh, the most efficient farm design anymore, but uh, it totally works. Um, it and they did change some of the mechanics, so it used to be a lot easier to swaps to get a. Oh, careful! Goodness, ah, uh, it used to be easier to get a good chain reaction, but all you have to do is just lob an arrow at one of these guys, and they all get mad at you, and they'll run to their death You're trying to come and murder your face and the angry ones aggro the the other ones behind them at least that's the idea now it's working pretty good right now but i find that the aggro chain does break rather easily in the, this version of the game um, like that that's all fine and dandy. And you come down here now. I also have a small problem with somehow zombies are spawning and getting out. So I have to you have to be a little more careful. I have to kill them. They will uh, they'll make life a little bit difficult. Okay. Very good. And then all those drops. And then they all drop. Uh, so I've got a couple things I need repairing. They drop a ton of XP. Stuff gets repaired. So that works. Um, so yeah, now I'm up to 60 levels. And of course, getting additional levels. So now, you know, I went from 58 to 63 levels in no time. And... Up. So, so anyway, this is a this is a useful thing to have on the server, and so it's part of the uh, the Nether infrastructure. And we will have to build a new one when we get going on the one point seventeen world, because it's a it is a very handy thing to have. Um, so. 
I think that is really all that we have. For I think that's that's a good place to stop right now because we've got a lot of other areas to show you. Uh, but it's going to take time to get there and then go and show you and talk about it. So I think we'll leave that for now. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, this is Theron on Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Bye.